Hi, I'm Louise Brakey from Brakey & Co. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how landlords can deal with garden maintenance for rented homes. As well as looking after the inside of your property, remember to inspect the outside too. Landlord garden maintenance may only be doable periodically, but the tasks involved can be much the same as what you already do in your own home. Watch the rest of this video to hear my tips on keeping your outside areas maintained. First of all, pick your tenants carefully. So if your property's got a garden, you may be better off, for example, focusing on longer term tenancies, ones that are more likely to take care of the garden than short term tenancies. Number two, design a low maintenance garden. Go for slow, glow, slow growing flowering shrubs and perennials combined with hard landscaping. Try and aim for a garden that will attract tenants without breaking the bank or requiring too much effort to maintain. Number three, clear the clutter between tenancies. So if you're getting the property ready for new tenancies, take some time to remove any unwanted items. This includes items left behind by previous tenants that aren't needed and any furniture equipment that's seen better days. Number four, tidy up the flower beds. If you've any plants growing, give them a prune or even remove them if they're completely, completely past the, the, the days. Removing weeds will also help your garden look neat and tidy. The local council may supply a bin for garden recycling, making the disposal of any unwanted vegetation much easier. Number five, I would say check everywhere for weeds. As well as de-weeding the flower beds, look out for any other areas in which they could be growing. This includes driveways between paving slabs and gravel surfaces. In particular, keep an eye out for Japanese knotweed. If, if that's left unchecked, then it may cause damage to the foundations, the walls, the drainage systems, or anything um, in close proximity to your property. You may want to hire a specialist to remove it to ensure that all the plant has been dealt with properly. Care for the lawn as well is very important. An overgrown lawn can be off-putting to prospective tenants and it can be difficult to put right as well. For example, if, it's, if too much grass is cut off in one go, then the blades of the grass may become unhealthy. Try and avoid mowing when the ground is wet as this could also damage the grass. Be aware that lawnmowers have different settings for the positions of the blades and adjust them to cut the grass to the right length. Give the tenancy agreement a garden maintenance clause um, and make sure it's right, but the best thing is to ensure that the tenancy agreement covers the garden and stipulates whether the tenant is responsible for maintaining it. Without a tenancy agreement and garden maintenance clause, um, the landlord will be unable to make a successful claim for garden maintenance should it arise. I hope you found this interesting, but if you do need any advice, please give me a call on 01942 238 200. Thanks for watching. Thank you.